This is Brighton Street. This is the street I grew up in, and I spent about 30 years on this street. Based at his studio in London, John Duffin is making a name for himself, and it's his childhood in Barrow that's proven the inspiration behind his success. I remember that time of life when you knew every bump in the road. When, when you were playing a game of football, you knew that there was a bump, or you were aiming a cricket ball, um, you knew what that would do. So it was interesting doing a painting of it and try and capture some of that closed world that belongs to you when you're that particular age. This is Furness Abbey. This is a local landmark in the area. It was somewhere which you would go as a visit as a child, and it was somewhere which I avoided painting for a long time because I didn't want to do a kind of a, a nice picture postcard version of it. I wanted something which captured, I feel, some of the mystery of it. It's a real old ruin of an abbey hidden in a kind of amphitheatre. It's got its own natural kind of beauty and power, I think. And he isn't alone in his passion for the town. John Duffin's last book of paintings of Barrow sold around 3,000 copies and at the last book signing, around 800 people queued up to meet him. And it seems these paintings of Barrow have a real resonance with people in the town. I live in Raleigh Street there and this is for my brother and all these places were in, you know, I can walk in a minute. I like the way it's portrayed with the, the little man with his suitcase stood there because it reminds me of myself coming back. This is Barrow Library. It was full of very offbeat characters. I used to sketch up there at my lunch hour when I was working in the shipyard. It was a refuge from the real world, in a way. I think there's great poetry in the urban area. Barrow has got great red brick buildings, has got great skies, so why not celebrate it? Alison Wood, North West Tonight, Barrow.